everybody. Happy Friday, July 24th. I'm Sean Reddy of the Keller Williams Reddy Group. Uh, this is my colleague and chief economist, Everett Reddy, also of the Keller Williams Reddy Group. And we are bringing you our weekly segment on what's happening in the Tampa Bay real estate market as a result of COVID and lockdown and everything going on in the world today. And, you know, normally we would be talking about the weekly stats. Yeah, get excited, buddy. Um, and how that's changed week over week. Yet since the numbers this week look virtually identical as the numbers last week, I wanna talk about what's going on overall. Uh, I'm holding in my hand right now June's market stats from our uh, board of realtors. And just looking over these, I've never seen numbers like this and, and you, you guys gotta stay tuned for what exactly is going on in the market. Uh, so I am in my now 16th year of selling real estate in Tampa Bay. Everett's in his sixth month, and collectively, we've never seen anything like this, like I said. And, uh, you know, here's a couple points I want to hit. So, last week, there were a thousand homes that hit the market in Hillsborough and Pinellas counties. There were 1,500 homes that went under contract in Hillsborough and Pinellas counties. So, that's a 500 home deficit, and that, you guys, has been happening week in, in and week out. I know. Uh, so where, where we stand today is there's close to 5,000 less homes on the market today than there were when this pandemic began in mid-March. Guys, that's astounding. Uh, we'll get into that here in a second. So total, since this started, there have been 18,692 homes listed. And get this, 24,000, I know, right? 24,982 homes have gone under contract. Uh, again, 5,000 home deficit from where we stood when this pandemic began, what, three and a half months ago. So get this. This is going to surprise most of you. June, this past uh, June, this last month, was the second highest number of sales on record. And I have five years worth of records right here. Second, not, second leading month of, of sales, number of sales. 3,825 homes sold in Hillsborough County in the month of June. Uh, the leading number, 3,895 in May of last year. So just about, well, uh, 70 homes shy of an all-time record in number of sales. During the pandemic, with, by the way, half of the inventory that was on the market last year. So as of June, there's 5,900 homes on the market. June of last year, there's 10,308 homes on the market. And I believe Everett is pooping right now. Uh, so what does that do to prices? Well, in June, the average home price jumped. Get this, 6.5% in one month. 6.5% increase from, from uh, May to June. And also, by the way, a 13% increase Slow your roll, buddy. I know this is exciting stuff. 13% increase from January. So the average price in Hillsborough County in the month of June, $323,000. Now, what is driving this? Well, we touched on it already. There is a severe uh, lack of homes on the market. We are a severely undersupplied market. Where the heck are you going? We're not done yet. Um, so, like I already mentioned, there's half the homes on the market today than there was this time last year, with more sales, by the way. So there's a month-over-month uh, -month decrease of 18%. So, so uh, what, what that means is in the month of May, 7,177 homes were for sale. The month of June, 5,921. So that's, again, an 18% drop in just a month and a 30% drop in number of homes for sale uh, since the month of January of 2020. That leaves us with... This is a really important one. 1.5 months of inventory on the market. 1.5 months, and, and if you don't know what that means, all that is saying is that given today's current sales pace and um, what's on the market, it would only take a month and a half for every single house out there to sell. Guys, that's astounding. It takes five or six months of inventory to balance the market out. Anything over six months is a buyer's market. So statistically, and you may have heard me say this before, Statistically, we are in the most extreme seller's market that we have ever seen in Tampa Bay. And it's driven again by lack of inventory and strong combined with strong demand. So what does that mean? I can't say this enough. This will not last forever, right? So 
while the market's been absolutely on fire, there are a lot of headwinds uh, that our, our real estate market faces. Unemployment, mortgage forbearance, the overall uh, damage to the economy from, from uh, the virus and the shutdown. All of these, there will be a bill come due for all of these things. Oh, by the way, election year, civil unrest, all that stuff too. That at some point this turns, right? At some point, more sellers catch wind of it and say, you know what, now is the time if I want to maximize my equity and get out at the highest price. And you see more, more uh, homes come to market because of that. And eventually the demand weighs because there is seasonality in our market. So at some point, this is going to flip-flop. We're going to start seeing more homes come on the market than are coming off the market. That could be weeks from now, months from now. It could be next year. I don't know. Uh, it is going to happen, though. So here's the thing. If you are considering selling, knowing anybody considering selling, whether you have something lined up to go to or not, now is the time. Like, let's talk about what it looks like right now because I don't know, and uh, unless you do, you might, I don't know, uh, what it looks like, you know, down the line. So if you have questions, this is a macro look. This is the entire, you know, Hillsborough and Pinellas County combined. Uh, if you have questions on your specific home value or what it might look like for you to sell your home or just questions in general, give us a call. This guy will field it. He knows the answer. If he doesn't, he'll pass the phone to me. And we look forward to serving you. Whether you're moving or not, we're here to be a resource. Uh, take care, guys. Be safe and have a great weekend. See ya.